Recording is on. Okay. So, so Jesse, you messaged me that basically you've been working on some of the, um, the auth workflow stuff, um, but you're having some issues uh, with some errors um, in the Planner repository. I think maybe before you get started, I can show um, kind of like what I'm thinking um, in terms of what might be going on on my end, or do you want to show the errors you're getting first? What do you think is the best? Um, I don't have the repository on my computer yet. Okay. Let it's me share my screen. Computer. Yeah. Yeah, let me share my screen because I think I know what's happening here before we even get started because I've been pushing um, a lot of stuff. Uh, can you see my screen? Yeah, I can see it. Okay, so this is um, this is your branch on the, the, the repository here. So this is mm -hmm. some of the stuff that you've been working on. Now, um, so this here, I can already tell by where this is. So this ejected folder being out here. Um, yep. Is because I what I what I started doing is first I was working off just a base plenty project with the current version of plenty there, um, but I was I started moving the files and folders into an actual like into the plenty project itself, and so I have a modified version of plenty on my computer that's not available to the public that works with my newest changes. And then um, so if you're using like the the most recent stable release of plenty, um, let's see here, whatever whatever that number is. Um, so you're probably using like 0 04.30. Uh, um, yeah, I'm using the latest released version. Uh huh. So so that's not going to work with this because I I have a modified version that starts working with this code. So that's yeah, probably okay. part of the problem. Let's see here. So there was a commit, and let me see if I can. How do I history? Let's see. Um, do 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 do. Okay, so I think this is probably the last good commit here. So if I look at the, I'm going to browse the files here. Um, you'll see that in here, there's no ejected folder here. It's actually inside the layouts folder. There's like the CMS in, in that folder. Mm -hmm. So so that's working like that. Um, sorry, I should have, I, for some reason I wasn't thinking, I should have created a different branch or, or started working off a different branch for the modified stuff because obviously no one else in the public, unless you compile it yourself, has access to the, the version that I'm working off of. Um, yeah. That said, I think we're really close actually um, to having uh, this work with a base project. So let me, um, so basically, let me show you um, what I'm working on here. Um, I have my um, code editor. So this is this is the actual Plenty project. And I've started actually pulling a lot of the work we were doing with auth um, into uh, the actual Plenty project and setting it up as like a, a starter in here. Um, and so this should be close to actually kind of working. So let me show you what I mean by that. So this is my desktop, I'm going to use uh, my modified version of Plenty. So again, this isn't released. So that this Plenty is not Plenty 4.30, Plenty 4.31 or whatever it will be in the future. Um, but if I create a new site, I'll just name it AAA. And then I enter that site. Now, um, one of the things that's happening here, if I serve this, there is some errors because um, basically, actually before I serve it, let me show you that this stuff is now in the ejectable file system, right? So if I do Plenty eject, I have this ability to go through. And you can see here that we have um, the router, uh, we have the router, which has some of the auth stuff in it. We have the CMS auth, the CMS session, and some of these other files in here that I can eject, right? Um, but if I, let me get out of that. If I don't eject it, those files are not available, right? So they're they're not in here anywhere. They're only in that, that ejectable file system. So, so that's kind mm. of the first thing that's happening. Um, and then if I plenty serve, uh, it will work, but there'll be some errors in the reason uh, we get this, so we have a problem compiling um, our auth. So basically, I, I need to um, set up a check right now. We're, we're trying to do some uh, server-side rendering of this stuff, and we don't need to server-side render any of the auth stuff. So I, I just need to basically make sure our ejected stuff does not try to get server-side render rendered. So that's what's one small error, but this should generally work. So uh, this URL is available. Um, let me just pull this. I'm going to get out of this so I can clear any of my... Um, local storage. Um, oops, and I'll just type in localhost. So this is the base starter that you get with Plenty normally. Um, so you know, there's some blog posts, things like that. Um, there's pagination. Uh, the the thing that I've added is a, another basic page. So there's about contact normally, and I added this admin page. Um, in this admin page, it just talks a little bit about what we're doing and what we're trying to to accomplish here. Um, and then it has this login um, button, which should take you to GitLab. And you should be able to do the normal login. And oh uh, no, uh, oh whoops. Okay, so I haven't actually. Sorry, uh, you have to set up your 
information. I didn't actually put it in here. So, so basically it's also pulling from, so there's a, a site-wide configuration file here, right? For um, all your stuff for plenty. Um, I've added the new configuration stuff in a CMS directive here for now. Um, let me get the app ID that we've been using. So we've been just using this for that test project. I'll just continue using that for now, even though uh, it's kind of generic at this point. Um, back here and let's paste that in and start this again. Let's try that one more time. I'll go back and let's make sure caches. Hopefully that. Okay. Um, so now, uh, so yeah, now th that completed that time, I believe. So let's see here. Um, if we go to our application and we have our token here. So, so yeah, so I, I mean, there's no visual queue that we're logged in. I'm going to add like a, a admin bar and stuff like that, but this now is integrated with, with a base project. So you should be able to kind of like work off this starting point here. Um, if that makes sense. Does that make sense yeah. to you? Yeah. Should, should I just, uh, clone the plenty repository and work on that? and just uh, compile it for my testing purposes. Yeah, uh, like how to actually add the stuff you're adding in there. Th or, a... or they are ejectable, so although I could cannot add any files. Sorry, what's that? I cannot add any files, is that true? If yeah, I so, eject... um, sorry. Add any files to like the, the actual Plenty repository itself? Um, you you can yeah. you could make PRs. I I don't want to slow you down. I want to make whatever's fastest for you. So there's I think there's a couple ways that we could do this, right? So um, yeah, but I, I was trying to say that I cannot add files to the project unless I clone the plenty repository and compile it. Yeah, that's it. So yeah, like how do you actually get this version of the plenty? Yeah, exactly. I need to do a release, yeah. which I, I plan on doing soon. Hopefully, I can get something today. Um, but in the meantime, okay, I think there might be. There's, there's a couple ways to do this, Jesse. Let's see here. So one is um, if you do, if I do get a release out, you can start working off like a base site, right? Like we could create a new repository that's like a base site here and we can start working off of it. Um, and then anytime that you want to do uh, like customizations, what you do is you would uh, plenty eject and then like you would say, okay, I need to change, um, you know, the storage or whatever. And then you say yes. And then you can NeoVim eject CMS storage, right? And then you can make adjustments to these files like you normally would. So that's one way we could do it. Um, for now, I don't want to slow you down. So I would say, um, and I'm sorry that I didn't communicate this earlier and I didn't really think it through, um, but actually, let me see here. Uh, for now, I think we could come in here um, <clears throat> and you could go to this commit where this last one here, it's the force redirect from refresh uh, component. Uh, um, and then if you start working off of that, you should be able to work with the version um, 4.30 that you probably have on your computer. And that should work without too many errors, I believe. So if you wanna start working off that, that's fine too. Cause I can, I can take the lessons that you're learning and the work that you're doing and I can kind of transpose it into the Plenty project itself. Um, of course, it's kind of like, you know, a moving target at this point. Um, what, what do you think works best for you? Yeah, probably making changes to the repository and then if you can integrate them some somehow to the plenty repository afterwards. Perfect. That would work. Yeah. Okay. Let's do that then. So um, I guess, um, yeah, I guess the way I would do it is, is check out that older commit. Um, sorry, I, I, I kind of messed up this thing, but yeah, I would say go into the, um, Hmm. We can create a new branch. Uh, do you want me to create a new branch? I can do it from that, that point in history on, and then uh, you're going to have to manually copy the stuff you did. Unfortunately, this stuff that you're working on over here, I don't know how far you got. Um, uh, but yeah, you probably have to manually copy any of the changes you made here over into the thing that um, the, the commit before it started doing this weird stuff. Does that make sense? Yeah. I could just cherry pick the commit. And do okay. It that way. Yeah. Perfect. Um, that makes sense. Uh, I'm, I'm curious how cleanly the cherry pick will work because the um, because we're making modifications to this folder here, but it doesn't exist um, on the other. Uh, so I'm curious what that would look oh. like, but we could try it. Maybe um, the Git is tracking the movement of the file, so I it think it be. will work. Yeah. Okay, great. So I think that would be good. Yeah, try to... Um, 
I guess try when you have, you're back in front of a computer with the stuff, I would say try to get to this commit here um, and, and see if you know it builds without any errors on your end. And then um, take the stuff that you've done here and start adding it on here and, and, and instead of having these two commits here. Because these are the, these are ones that are probably breaking what you're doing. So moving the CMS folder um, and this kind of, this thing here, um, basically uh, you need the modified version to work off of. So I think this would be a good place to branch off from. Yeah, I'm currently trying to get the repository on my machine, but uh, I'm missing SSH, SSH key. Uh, yeah. From GitLab. Can you, can you do the HTTP version and then? Um, I just added it, added it, so uh, now I can clone the repository. Perfect. Yeah, and I think pretty soon, once I have that release out with some of the basic all stuff integrated, then we could probably just work off a new base project at that point. But for now, this is probably the quickest way to do it. Yeah, so now, now I have the repository, so I'll try to try to uh, get get it working. Okay. With the yeah. with reverting the commit you said. Yeah, great. Let me know if you hit any other issues. If there's any errors or anything, um, be happy to yeah. take a look. Um, how uh, have you? Uh, so you've been doing some research on some of this stuff. Is that uh, where are you at in the process? Are you just starting it, or uh, process of what? So you said, oh, oh, you're using stores here. To, okay, gotcha. So you're you're integrating felt stores. Okay, that's great. Um, yeah, yeah. To the auth. Cool. I've, yeah, I I've done it. It should work, but it didn't work because of the errors. But yeah. uh, then I'll be doing the the committing to the GitLab. Awesome, that's great. Cool. If I get get from the errors, get away yeah, from yeah. the errors. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Let me know if you hit any more errors, um, and I'm sure we can clear it up pretty fast. And then hopefully yeah. I'll have the new version of Plenty out, you know, today or tomorrow. Um, and if I do, then then we can probably start working out that as a base point too. So that might be even the easier path. Can you explain one thing yeah. to me about, about Plenty? Mm -hmm. If I share my screen. Sure. Uh, yeah, can, it see, can you see it now? I can. Can you make it a little bit bigger? Yeah. Oh, maybe I now had to actually get it because uh, there was this login variable uh-huh yeah i didn't know how to how it does get to the actual yeah. page so oh, so this right, is a again this is a middle there, i didn't see it yeah yeah so it's like a magic mm -hmm. so this is yeah the newer versions of plenty are kind of doing that now so um so so if you go back two commits to that other stable one that should work it, it won't be like that at all um it'll just be a little more standard right so um that is commit yeah yeah that one there um you just like do a git checkout on that hash that's how I... yeah these are quite some of these are checkout but i don't know yeah. which of them are yeah i don't know <laughs> yeah. yeah so if you look in there that should yep layouts and that's um, yeah it's all in Google. the cms and no. the content so in content there there's the entry point oh yeah the admins like that uh, the admins where all the entry point stuff is happening. That's like a, the admin page. Um, yeah. And then, um, yeah, so so this is, it's working a little more standard here. You can kind of understand what's going on there, I, I would imagine. Um, do I have plenty installed here? No. Uh, do I snap? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I have to install that, but yeah. Yeah, that, so once that's up and running, that should be, um, a little bit closer uh, to to what you're like the, the the original code you created should be a little bit closer and more understandable. I would hope. Um, Let's and, see yeah. if I can actually integrate the changes here. Yeah, try to cherry pick it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm curious um, what happens. Cherry pick. Yeah, some conflicts, but nothing too. But I think. Cool. Yeah, probably what we want to do is um, 
Yeah, you have to go back to that point in history and then probably create a new branch from that point in history. And then add, you know, or else we're going to have like, I feel like it's going to get weird. You know what I mean? You probably want to go back to, probably want to go back to that commit, create a new branch from there and then add this stuff on there. But, or I could create a branch from here. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. 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 I could just check out this as a branch. Yeah. Um, and, and honestly, like I'm not even, this repository is just like a temp working space. If like, yeah. The Git history and this stuff gets too muddied. We can just like just start it again. Like I, I don't like. There's nothing too permanent about this repository. It's just a, and I actually I treated it as too temporary because I started throwing all that stuff in there without thinking about how it would affect your version of Plenty. Um, but yeah, I think pretty soon once I have that new release out, I think probably working off the new release will be the best way forward. Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to think here. Um, should should I just overwrite that uh, branch or create a new branch for this older version? Uh, like the branch that you're you're working off of? Um, yeah. I was. I would say feel free to. Um, uh, don't for, if you, if you don't mind, um, don't force override the main branch yet. Um, just because I'm still a little bit working off that, but feel free. Like your other off rework, if you want to force override that, that's fine too. Um, yeah. Or, or we can create, or you know, we can create a new repository. That's fine. <laughs> like we could just copy it, blow away the Git history, and start with that repository again. That's that's fine too. Um, yeah. Let me know whatever works best for you. That uh, I'm not too too concerned about how that is at this point. It's yeah. all temporary stuff. True. Cool. Um, nice. Anything else, Jesse? Yeah. I, I want to make sure you get back to your yeah uh, your your weekend. Nothing, nothing currently. Okay. Cool. I think I can continue continue now. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Sorry for the confusion. I'm gonna kill the recording. <laughs> <laughs>